Hey motherfuckers, it's Winston Smith here on Reviews with Booze, and today we're talking about Valiant Thor and their fucking latest release. Our own masters. <laughs> oh man, anytime I fucking throw in Valiant Thor, you know, I feel the unsatiable need to fucking party down. Mm. Every fucking time, and this album is not different. I tell you what, it makes you want to have a good fucking time. Which I like to do. Anywho, Valiant Thors, our own masters. You know, it comes off hidden, you hear it, and if you're a Valiant Thor fan and you've heard it, uh, their shit, you know, it's like, oh, okay, definitely right where you left off. It feels, um, Exactly like almost what you would expect coming from the homeboys. Um, I will say something that sticks out big time on this motherfucking record is uh, the vocals are a lot uh, more diverse, whether it's uh, manipulating his voice in a song like uh, Manipulation, you know, more or uh, being a little more fucking sweet-ass bluesy rock like in uh, Cerebus, Cer Cerebus, Cerebus, you know. And they always got to have some sweet... Uh, Greek mythology fucking tune going on too. Ugh, keeping it fucking real with that shit. That's always great. It is, uh, I like a lot of the fucking riffs on here, especially, you know, the classic when they do their fucking sweet metal riffs that are fucking really titties, uh, like in Don't Bar. That song's fucking, uh, pretty jiving. My favorite tune on here, though, is like less than a minute, and it's called Life and You Demons, and that shit, you know, just. Grabbing the fucking axe and fucking ripping it off! You know, fucking slaying demons with a fucking kick ass guitar. At least that's what I got from it. Maybe that's not what it fucking is. Um, uh, but I also, Cerberus might be my fucking favorite song too. That one just like feels like you're at a fucking uh, Valiant Thor show. You know what I mean? It comes off with the intro. It seems all like live or something. He's got the fucking bunch of souls on the table! You know, all that fucking sweet ass shit. Good time. Uh, there's just. You know, I don't really have anything bad to say about this record. Pretty goddamn kick-ass. Um, no Strings Attached was, like, the only song that when I first heard it, I was like, huh, what are they doing here? He's, like, singing real different, singing in more of a uh, late 90s, early 2000s, like a punk way, kind of. first it was a little weird, but now it's just growing on me, and I uh, really enjoy that tune as well. So, uh... My friends, there's a, a lot of stuff going on on this record, and you all need to fucking go on out and pick it up and check it out. And if you fucking want to have a good fucking time, spin it on the table, bitch! Winston Smith, and you've been watching reviews of booze. Peace, bitches.